Right. And how did you get in touch with Harry Rolf? Well, I, th I first heard Harry on the radio talking about this amazing post that he wrote for The Guardian called This is the Last Year That I Shall Wear the Poppy, which mm. was a, it went mad, or went viral on social media, and suddenly Harry became this social media <laughs> star at 91. <laughs> and then he started yes, writing. That is for you, by the way. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. I didn't know. Oh, thank you so Sorry. much. And, Sorry. And so Harry... Um, I then got interested in Harry's book and read his story, which is about um, living before the welfare state. And really, Harry's big thing is about saying, if you've lived in poverty before the welfare state, you value it more than mm. any any other person. And that he's trying to sort of wake up our generation to, to save the welfare state, basically. Absolutely right. So yeah. Har Harry lost his sister, didn't you? Um, yes, from tuberculosis, actually, yeah. Uh, and uh, my parents had spent a lot of money buying a proper shears long bed made out of basket weave for her to lie on comfortably. But uh, the, she got so bad with the pain that my father had to tie her to this bed. She w and she died in a workhouse. So my. Uh, because they couldn't afford it. It was not just the treatment, it's yeah. the painkillers, isn't it? They and all these things. The painkillers, the painkillers. Problem, 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 anything like that. And uh, even, I would, even years after she died, I would walk through streets and I would hear people in houses screaming with pain. God. Because they couldn't get. Relief. That was life before the NHS. Yeah. Yes. Mm. The, 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 the thought that uh, England might uh, not Go back maintain it uh, just appalls mm. me. Absolutely right. Well, look, Harry, thank you so much for the book, and I will read it with uh, a lot of interest. And we will... Um, uh, so Harry's inscription says to Ed, in 2015, be the tide that raises all boats, remember the spirit of 1945, with kindest regards, Harry, Harry Leslie Smith. So, Harry, thank you so much. Uh, and uh, I, I will be the tide that raises all boats. I think you could be someone who goes down in history. I do. Mm. You, you could be a prime minister who can change England for the better. Mm. The, the people are with you. Mm. Just listen to them. They're, they're crying for you. Mm. Well, thank you so much, Harry. Thank you for seeing me. No, thank you so much. During the election, thank too, you. Harry wants to be as much help to the Labour Party as well, possible. And, and he is back in, in the UK uh, from February onwards. For the election. For the yes. election. Fantastic. Because he, he wants to make it... His first vote was for Labour in 1945, and he wants to say and he, if, if, that his last vote, or his second to last vote, will be for Labour. Third to last. Yeah. Well, we'll do a rally together. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah He's speaking yeah. from the stage um, tom on oh, fantastic. tomorrow uh, in the NHS. And the tag, and the tag is, the is Mr. Cameron, keep your mitts off my NHS. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much, Harry. Thank Can you. Just a quick picture. Yeah. Harry, Such a pleasure to meet you.